So why do I have all these wires just sticking out of a hole? I'll tell you why, because there's a freaking problem here. <laughs> so I went to activate the air conditioning because, God, you know, I'm sweating to death. It's hot. I got this little switch that's supposed to turn it from uh, shore to generator and off. And I noticed it was clicking pretty badly. And then I noticed that, which is, of course, really bad. And this was, luckily, it disconnected pretty much. So then I had to come back and figure out, well, okay, what goes to what? So this is shore power coming from outside. This is the generator, because it can run on the generator. So because this is a generator shore power switch, basically, is what this is. Um, and then these go actually out to the breakers that are right here and here to actually run it. So luckily, I'm glad I found this. Uh, it looks pretty bad. It's been cracked. It's molded. It's melted. So... And basically what happened was just a loose, bad connection there, not good connection there, so. Getting a new one, cleaning it up, and uh, we'll see how it works from there. So, yay, no AC for me today, yay! But hey, it's better than that boat burning down, huh? Yeah. So, I'm going to go run and see if I can find a switch somewhere. Okay, so you know I had a bad switch, and I just, uh, you know, hold on. Okay, now I got my lighting crew on. You can see, bad switch, burned up. Okay, got a new $100 switch. Yay, not cheap. Okay, wired it up, just like it said in the instructions. Turn it on, check my breaker. And it's giving me an open hot. Then if I move it... Oh, now I'm getting hot and ground reversed. So there's something really wrong with this switch. I'm moving, I'm moving the switch around, and so I think the switch is bad because when I hook them directly up to each other, I get correct, and it's fine. So there's something going on with the switch. I didn't replace the ends, thinking there was something wrong, but I think it's the switch that's just. Something's funky going on with this switch here. I mean, I shouldn't be able to do that. So, eh, I'll be taking this back. Okay, just to show you now, these are hot. I put a screw, putting those two together and a nut and bolt, basically, and a nut and bolt to hold the, the hot and the neutral together. Don't try this unless you really know what the heck you're doing, because those are hot right now. If you touch them, you're going to get shocked. So well, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to flip the breaker on. And you'll see that the frickin' lights, oh, let me, you can see that the lights, there's two of them, it's common, there's nothing wrong with it, so that definitely tells me switch. Alright, I'm done. Just to finish up what I was talking about, like, you know, this one got fried. Uh, so I went and got one of West Marine and came back and had a fun time for a couple hours trying to figure out why that wasn't working. So then I went to the... We only had one at uh, Newburn, so I had to drive 45 minutes to Moorhead and get another one, swap it out, swapped it out, came over, checked it out, tested it, installed it, and look at those pretty little lights I've got. That says, all good. And you can plug it in or load with my dehumidifier, and it's running. Running it all day, I had the air conditioning running as well, so obviously the switch was just bad. So, new switch in, and I cleaned all the contacts on that breaker, so woohoo! Uh, yeah, so that, that's the end of that. Fun. Um, I think that's it for today. I'm not going to go into anything else. I think that's about it right now. I'm done!